Welcome to Power Automate video. In this video, I would explain how to use object types within the Power Automate, which would help you to set and get the properties of the Power Automate. So for the demo purpose, I'm going to use an object called the organism. And this organism has a property of name, description, genus, species, picture, and the scientific name. Later, I would show you how this object comes from and we set this property to uh, send it as an email whenever there is a change. Okay, so quickly go through uh, a list of organism which I have it in SharePoint. Uh, this is a SharePoint list. If you can see it has several columns. What I'm going to do is that in the Power Automate, whenever I create a new organism in this list, I'm going to send an email of the detail which is created here as a uh, kind of Power Automate flow. So let's start, start cre uh, creating the Power Automate. I already have few Power Automate, but let's start creating a new. So I create from the automated blank and when an item is created in the SharePoint, let me call it as Notify Organism Creation. So let me select the SharePoint URL and my list is the organisms list. So this is the trigger point now for the flow. Once I create it, I need to initialize the variable. I use the initialize method, initialize activity and I'm going to name it as organism object. And this is a type object. You can see the Power Automate supports object. And here you can specify any JSON value. Uh, for in my case, my JSON would take several properties of, let me paste here. So it takes any JSON value. You can even specify um, JSON inside JSON, but uh, very tricky when you specify object inside object. So these are the properties which uh, it has. For the demo purpose, I would just set name and the description property. Then I would consume that in the mail. So object value is set. Usually a good practice that what I do, whenever I initialize the variable, I follow the uh, variable name with the var, which means that it is a declaration of the variable. It's just the best practice as I follow. Uh, you don't need to follow that as well. It is just a optional one. So next what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the compose data model. So here you need to set the property of an object. So for that there is a separate action of the expression which is called set property. The set property takes the first parameter to be the object, the real object where you want to set the value and you need to specify the property name and the value. So in my case organism is the object and I'm going to set the value for a property name. So you need to specify as a string name in a single quote. Remember it has to be always single quote and I'm going to set the value which whenever an object is created, whenever a list item is created, I need to get the name from that list. So let me scroll to the list item and get the name. So name of the list and that's it. Okay. If you mouse over, you can see this one. Name is nothing but the title of a SharePoint list item. So once you compose the object, you have to set it to your variable. So every time you need to do that or else it will not assign the property to it. So let me set the variable. The same organism object you need to set the variable of the compose output that's it so now for every time when you need, when you want to set a variable or a property value you need to follow this to action then the value is set into a specific property i'm going to set description as well so in that case i copy this put it there and then I'm going to set the value. So copy that. 
put it there so name such a way that it is a compose description okay just for good purpose uh, remove this to avoid confusion and set it to the compose description output and in the compose description make sure you are setting the description because we are setting the name previously description and we need a description of the name so yes okay that's it update make sure that it is updated sometime when you just do the update in my phone so it is updated finally this property i need to read so how do you read let me use the send email send it to myself subject new organism created and what is the name so here it becomes tricky you need to read the property of the json object so for that first you need to get the variable variable of variable itself the object name which is the organism and to get the property within you can use the square bracket plus the property name so this is the uh, convention you should always follow to get any value within the properties you can go deeper into deeper as well for example if you have uh, object inside object you can again add one more uh, square bracket and get the value if it is an array you can specify the index of an array like 0 or 1 and then get the property within that array okay so just to get the value from the name i'm just going to use this that's it and similarly inside the body okay same just follow this variables of the organism and i'm going to get the description that's it sometime it gives you an error all you need to do is just click on here and just click okay that's it okay i don't know maybe some flow you should be checking some syntax but once you mouse over then it should be fine i'm saving it notify organism so this is the flow let me i go to the flow maybe i just turn it off because this also does the same this is the one which i created just now okay you see there is nothing there so now i am going to trigger this flow by creating a new list item which is the organism here just create the name and the description should do the name is like i would say uh, human human is an organism uh, picture for moment i'll just use something which is being picture i don't want to specify any okay scientific name homo sapiens what matter is the description so description may be uh, okay and you can even format it for example i can just say green and then bold that's it just for the sample save it so this value should be saved in the flow whenever the item is created okay uh it should be mammalia kingdom animalia cardata and vertebrata and it is mammalia okay that's it so when i save this a new item is created hopefully this flow get triggered and get an email uh, it takes a while i have to wait for the trigger okay i think uh it, the flow has triggered let me refresh yes it has triggered and it has succeeded let me go through the flow and check the value 
So if you see here, an item is triggered and the values are all here, all the values, the name is human and the description is a HTML and I declare a variable. When you set the variable, you can see the value here, name, it's set to human, you can see and I compose a description, I set the description, see here, it uh, set the description as well and finally in the email, it got the description as well as the name and let me check the email okay this is the email which I got it has the name and the description so setting an object within the flow you have to pass always a JSON and use the set property and there is a separate uh, kind of uh, expression you can use to get the variable of it so hope you like the video subscribe like share thank you so much for watching it